Pokémon. Yeah, everybody knows them. Everybody loves them. The masters of the universe battleground here at my home. Ooh, damn, it's so good. And what's my job? Bring the box art to your home. Yeah. Okay, first, um, you need this miniature to assembly. Yeah, there's a very good uh, manual to see what which part has uh, on the body and so on. It's very simple, very good. The quality of these miniatures are super cool. Yeah, but the base is really small. The miniature itself, it's uh, 40 millimeters, 38, 35 between them. So, but the base is 25 millimeters and it looks fantastic, really. We paint in this uh, video orange, blue, and of course the green. And yeah, but you know, before we start, we do the same trick as the Nightwing video. Yeah, you see, I hold the manager right under this lamp. The thing is, I know who's painted this. So he has three lamps. It's coming from the up and the right and the left one primary light and two secondaries so we have to check where the lights on the spot on the armor and the lag and so on and then we make a picture with the phone you know everything the same like my nightwing video check this out you don't need see little priming and so on you don't need that really okay check this out we check where the lights and then we started grab your tools grab your everything what you need and let's start it it's a complicated video i have to say first but in the end you will see here are our primary color we take an orange and then a brighter uh, like ochre color and then german yellow and uh orange for maybe some get tones and of course we need a green a brighter green and the blue and ivory to highlight the blue So, if you think you are happy with your sketching of the orange, you see, I let the darkest part dark, the blackest part, because we glazed and, and overpainted uh, several times. And now you see, I prepared first glaze with the same color and go over all these parts 
this is um, makes a very very good transition and cover the blackest part and bring these uh, colors between the black and the orange good together this trick is not new but um, yeah it's the best way to get a really really smooth result take your time wait after dried and then repeat them so often you can so often you will uh, till you are happy with the result repeat them like i say and you see here the first result if they all is dry and i don't know i i, I do this maybe f three or five times four or five times maybe and get a really really smooth cool transition uh, result of the color and this is the very very first most important uh, way the second way is to give him uh, a wash because it has so super many details on this armor and I wash it I get this advice from my friend Carlos from Firebrush Studios and I wash them with burnt red uh, it is nice you can also do this with a uh, whole red or black red something like that yeah and you do this about uh, over the whole miniature really and concentrate to the uh, parts and you will have the best result Yeah, now we start with the green and we do really like the same as my Nightwing video uh, with the dark uh, gray black style. We do the same with the green. We paint the muzzles really and let the, the deepest parts, let them black, the shadow parts and so on. Paint really the muzzles and paint it good because it's a superhero style and overpowered masses of the universe cannot look like a uh, normal guys or something like that yeah <laughs> you have to paint it really really good repeat this painting repeat this color and let the darkest part and then the same thing like every time we take the same color and go over all you see here that makes it super smooth and fill the gaps fill everything with the color and repeat them so often you have until you like it yeah So you see I do the same with the blue and now comes the interesting part. Now we fix and correct this orange again. 
because sometimes the uh, the wash destroy here and there a little bit and we have to fix all the highlight parts you see what i'm doing here i fix everything you see here it's not and here it is yeah it is a big different and here you can sketch again and you can correct some stuff uh, if you're not happy with that you can correct this in with this way this is also not uh, new it's uh, it's an old technique to uh, bring the color back if you wash something because normally i don't wash it uh, so much the miniatures because because i don't like it i like it more to paint the uh, shadows by myself and um, but in this case we have to do this yeah really and remember this is not a paint at count yeah this is for inspiration to uh, to try to to copy that box art yeah and here you see if they all are wet uh, yeah dry sorry then yeah and here i show you uh, i paint this uh, part because it's a non-metallic gold part i paint this in brown because uh, i paint this later uh, off cam and yeah what can i say look my videos about non-metallic gold you you will see what i'm doing and now you see a little bit the, the green the orange comes super cool out and i make a great mistake i uh glued the the head with the helm i glue it on the body and i recommend it um to don't glue it on the body then you can paint it alone and yeah it's hard to film the face painting and okay I, I make a collage here you see i hope you understand a little bit the face painting i started with a darker uh, flesh tone and then go up brighter and brighter here you see the colors and i try to circulate the the, the colors in the middle of the face you see here yeah uh, sorry for that, but in the next videos I will show it better. Yeah, and yeah, fantastic. And here you see the first result. If you want to stay here and you are happy with that, you can uh, you can have done your job and say, okay, for tabletop, this is cool, paint the base and so on. The fur, by the way, I paint the same way like my Nightwing video, really exactly the same, yeah? Same colors and so on. And you will see, this is a super cool uh, tabletop standard plus in the moment, but we go further. Now it's time for the ochre. This is um, an advice from my friend and i tried out and i myself yeah this is pretty good and give really really the orange a super highlight tone paint it really carefully at the edges not the complete parts paint only the parts that you want uh, to catch your eye yeah you see what i'm doing
repeat them and now we go to the green and do the same thing take the brightest green another another uh, bright tone and stipple or drawing the muzzles uh, for accentures and highlights bring some some light effects you know the photo from begin and yeah that is the next way repeat this so often you can making wet blade stippling or wet blade drawing pretty pretty uh diluted and you can bring the muzzles brutality out yeah really you see what i'm doing here check out and don't forget the middle because it gives a pretty pretty good structure of the muzzles and you see the lights coming So enough we doodly doodly did. <laughs> I promise in the next videos I use another music. And it's time for doing the same with the blue. It's really, really the same. You paint the blue, the edges, and correct that, and fix it, and mix a little bit ivory in your blue, and go over the edges, create some light spots, and uh, create some. Uh, you can improvise a little bit uh, here and there and some scratches maybe or whatever you want you can do whatever you want it's it's up to you it's a miniature painting it's fantasy it's it's not the painters as counting or something like that you can do whatever you want and paint it repeat it wash it or glaze it and every time the same really it's every time the same let the deepest spot deep and so on and you get a really cool result and the reason i don't show how i paint the helmet uh, i like it uh, just to say is because the video is going then 40 minutes or something like that but i paint the helm really exactly the same like the belt or the the bracket or what's the name is yeah and you see it's this is the uh, actually result and if you spend more time and then you get a really brutality result and ta -da, here it is Duncan the man at arms pretty pretty super hardcore uh, gaming over over style plus jukes version of the box art but it's my version it's not uh, exactly the same but um 
yeah it looks fantastic and yeah of course many people of you say hey yeah so under the bright light looks cool but how it looks on the board maybe it's not so bright or maybe it's too dark or or whatever the answer is just simple check it out it's fantastic okay i'm out bye and have fun and we see us in the next video